What do you get when you mix a goat and a spider? Sam Walker showed you the USU biologists who are mixing DNA to further research. They may look, sound, and act like your average goats, but these goats have been biologically mutated in order to express one more protein in the milk. That's their only difference. Behaviorally, uh, functionally, visibly, they're just like any other goat. That new protein is from spiders, in particular the production of spider silk. Now it's under the control of a promoter that only allows that protein to be expressed in the milk. If they're losing milk, their body will want to replace it. So that's why we milk twice a day. It's make sure that their bodies are losing the milk, and therefore it's saying, OK, uh, we need to replace that. Goats like 323 here can produce up to a gallon and a half of milk each day by using this contraption. And the workers say that milk can go on to do great things. The goats have really allowed us to advance the science. With milk from all the goats, the researchers have enough quantity of those spider silk proteins to begin to prototype and begin to experiment. These researchers are excited about the possible findings because spider silks are, are one of the strongest natural materials known to man. And it's stretchy, similar to tendons. Uh, but it's still very durable and it's biocompatible. Well, that's why we're exploring this. We have to find another way to produce it. And goats have, have absolutely been a stalwart of that effort. The researchers say, I do enjoy what I'm doing out here most of the time. Goats can be kind of a pain, but I do like being part of the big picture. Sam Walker, ATV News. The researchers are hoping to make prototypes out of the spider silk for prosthetics, clothing, medical instruments, and other materials.